times have you done this? You grab a bottle of soda, you pop the top and you drink it. That's what you normally do with a bottle of soda. But when you do that, you take in sugar. And that leads us to today's big science question, which is how much sugar is there in a can of soda? So how are we gonna figure this out? I'll tell you one easy way. Take a can of soda, we pour it in a pot, we boil it until all the water's gone, and what we're gonna be left with is the sugar. And then we can weigh it. You can see that the pot weighs 371 grams to start. So we pour the soda in and we put it on the stove. Now if you're a kid, you need to get an adult to help you here. But you turn the stove on, you let the soda boil, and the water is going to all evaporate. And what you're going to be left with is this sugary syrup at the end. The spoon has about three grams of sugar on it. And then in the pot, there's going to be about 34 grams for a total of 37 grams of sugar in this can of soda. So here's the funny thing. We didn't have to do all that because they're nice enough to actually tell us how many grams. And if you read it, it says 39 grams, which is really close to the 37 grams that we calculated ourselves. See, it says it right there. So now the obvious question is, how much sugar is 39 grams of sugar? So what I have here is a teaspoon, some sugar, a scale. Let's find out. Here's one teaspoon of sugar. That's about six grams. So 39 grams is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a little bit. Seven and a half teaspoons of sugar is how much sugar there is in a can of soda. Then you add 12 ounces of water, and that's what you're drinking. Now, would you ever eat seven and a half teaspoons of sugar? No, absolutely not, because it's a ton. But since it's mixed in with water and you're drinking it, it seems okay and completely normal. But that is how much sugar you're getting every time you drink a can of soda. What about fruit juice? So you might be thinking, well, maybe I could drink some fruit juice and that would somehow be better. The funny thing is that fruit juice contains exactly the same amount of sugar. If you look at a nutrition label, you can see that it contains 27 grams of sugar, but it's for an eight ounce serving. If you calculate out a 12 ounce serving, it actually contains 39 grams. What if you buy one of those giant 24 ounce bottles of soda? Well, there's twice as much sugar in it. That's right, 15 teaspoons, and it's an amazing amount of sugar. You can't believe how much sugar you're drinking in one of those. Now here's something I'd like you to try at home. Take a glass and put one teaspoon of sugar in it. Then pour in 12 ounces of water and drink it. See what it tastes like. Then put in two teaspoons of sugar. Put some water in it and drink some of that. Then put in three teaspoons and compare the differences between all these different amounts of sugar. So we started off with this question, how much sugar is in a can of soda? And what we learned is that there's an amazing amount, 39 grams in a 12 ounce can, an amazing 78 grams if you get a big 24 ounce bottle. So what are you gonna do the next time you get thirsty? You can drink a bottle of soda, but now you know what's in it. So here's something to try instead. Yes, it's called water. It tastes great and there's not a single gram of sugar in it. I'm Marshall Brain, and I hope you have fun performing your own science experiments.